Bacteria are like villains in films or computer games. Just when we think we know them, they surprise us most. At their worst, bacteria can kill people. At their best, they can promote greater health. Emmanuel Charpentier has dedicated the last 25 years to learn to understand and find tools to help people. This mission led her to the bacterial immune system and the discovery of CRISPR-Cas genome editing. They are uh, everywhere in our body. We are colonized by bacteria. We have uh, in ourselves 10 times more bacterial cells than our own cells. And bacteria have been shown to be extremely useful <laughs> over the last uh, 50, 60 years for biotechnology purposes. Ten years ago, in her hunt for bacterial treasure, Charpentier started looking for RNA molecules that potentially could have a regulatory function in bacteria. During her search, she found a very abundant RNA molecule encoded next to a locus of the bacterial immune system called CRISPR-Cas. We could not make any sense of this interaction. And so I had the, really the idea to think that maybe tracer RNA would have a role in the CRISPR biology because of its uh, location in the sense that it is encoded in the vicinity of the CRISPR-Cas locus. And it's here that we started to look at the interconnections. When Charpentier realized how the small RNAs help the bacterial enzyme Cas9 find and destroy invading viruses, she knew she was onto a treasure trove. We realized that it was easy just by doing the experiment in the test tube where you have the DNA to be cleaved, the purified protein and the two RNAs, and you see that it's cleaving very well. CRISPR-Cas turned out to work with any type of cell and organism and is thus a miracle tool with enormous potential for biotechnology and for medical treatments. But Charpentier's hunt for new tools in bacteria remains undiminished. Me and others are in the hunt of further tools by just working on, on more diverse bacterial species. This is also the way to discover more mechanisms. You start with a topic where not a lot of aspects are known. Uh, there are hypotheses, dogma, you don't know very much. And this is very good because then you can be open-minded because you understand that maybe this is a chance to find mechanisms that have not been described. You need to be open-minded.